My name is Carrie Lee and I'm 55 years old. So let's see here. Dieting is difficult because you can't just stop eating. I think hoarding is like that too. Uh, I don't expect probably with any sort of treatment short of a lobotomy or something that uh, I will ever be hoarding free. Every item represents a memory, an experience, a part of my history of who I am, where I've been. It's all what makes up Carrie Lee. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. I need that visual. Otherwise, it's gone. It's like a puff of air, a dust in the wind. My mother was a hoarder as well, and so uh, there was always a lot of clutter. I didn't think that I had a lot of the um, problems that my mother had. Although when I started having children, the difficulty level of everything uh, sort of increased geometrically. I found myself doing things like staying up till three in the morning trying to find all of the toys to put them back, all neatly lined up against the wall. There was just a point where I kind of started giving up and it started turning the other way. Once I started that, it was just the beginning of a long slide downward. <laughs> and it, I never, never was able to make the correction again. Being a hoarder, uh, there's always the element in the back of my mind of protecting uh, that secret. I'm Jeff, I'm Carrie Lee's husband. We've been married since 1996, so that'd be 13 years. I was able to, to keep the house and the situation pretty much out of the picture for the longest time. But eventually, I brought him over and uh, introduced him to the house. So I just assumed that, oh, well, Carrie Lee just, you know, saves a lot of stuff. Well, yes, she does save a lot of stuff, but not so much because she's worried about a depression, not so much because she hates to see things go to waste. This is just the disease. This is just the problem that you can't throw anything out. Well, the move to Vashon has been fraught with problems. We were having so many problems with the remodel of the house that the West Seattle house wasn't getting cleaned out. We ended up uh, taking out another mortgage on the, on the Vashon house. Eventually, that money ran out, and then we turned to our retirement, and that ran out. It was obvious that the house in West Seattle wasn't going to get cleaned out anywhere in the near future. At this point, we have two mortgages on each house. We're now living paycheck to paycheck, you know, close to losing one or both houses. All right, Carrie Lee, today's the day. How do you feel? <sighs> um, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm Geraldine Thomas, and I'm a certified professional organizer specializing in chronic disorganization. Well, this morning, I felt a lot like I was on my way to the executioner, just waiting for them to blindfold me and tie my hands behind my back or something. This is the homeowner, Carrie Lee, and the main thing that I'm concerned with today is that absolutely nothing Nothing can be put in a dumpster unless it has her okay. Again, please be respectful, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. Come on in, Carrie Lee. Let's get started. We knew that we were getting ourselves into a big job, and um, it was described to us that this was a hoarding situation, but seeing it um, firsthand is shocking. Ultimately gonna be a huge job. How are you feeling right now? 
fine. Good. So far, so good? Yeah. Great. Carrie Lee likes to tell a story that's really common with a hoarder. They have a story about every single thing they touch. Uh, somebody had asked me if I had ever tried this medication. I couldn't remember. Okay. I thought I might have. Uh -huh. And um, so I um, wanted to be sure and record this with my doctor. And what year was that? Uh, back in 95. OK. So you think you can let it go now? I am trying to sneak in a little uh, tip here and there about not acquiring things and thinking about where these acquisitions are all going to go. Okay, are you going to donate those or keep them? Keep them. You want to keep it, donate it? I think I'm going to put it in my pocket. This is actually going to go right here. I'm really ashamed, <laughs> embarrassed. Um, I'm, you know, I just feel like hiding under the bed and crying and mm -hmm. never being seen or heard from again. Um, Here, what are you doing with that? You're putting that right back. Well, um, kind of because um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're having a bumpy road this morning. I thought we'd start this morning with the meeting. Carrie Lee and Jeff have asked me to talk on their behalf um, for several reasons. She was just um, not able to concentrate on anything except what transpired yesterday. Some keepsakes that were clearly marked, her daughter's name, Charity, are gone missing now. We can't find them. Basically, I felt like I communicated that really well and, and that, those things you can't replace. I mean, it doesn't matter how much money I have or how much time, if they all got carted off because they look like garbage or something. Yeah. So the priority of the morning is I would like one of you um, to, to go through that stuff and before we haul it out to the pod, see if she, she, you can help her locate what she's looking for. One is a panda blanket and a tutu. It's either a green tutu with white trim or the other way around. A tutu, anyway. Be, look on, be on the lookout for that. All right, let's go ahead and get going because we have a very long day ahead of us, OK? All right, Thank you, guys. Good. I appreciate you uh, understanding and listening. That's fun, too. Well, I always like lettering. All right, good. Literally, lay a piece of tape and write in marker, Carrie Lee's, you know, private section, okay. do not touch, one right, of those I'm kind good. of things. All right, sounds great. All right, and then maybe even mark hey. it up there. Okay. Caleb That's just yummy. found the panda and the green tutu. No way! Thank you. Yeah, right. It was in this box over here yes. marked uh, towels and blankets and sheets. So it must have just got organized, but uh, <laughs> not thrown away. How do you feel right now? Better. Good. Better. Hoarders have a unique set of challenges when they're decluttering. They focus on minutia. And in Carrie Lee's case, it's that she has to touch every single thing. No, no, no the no, idea no is for me to go through it. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. You want to save these? Yeah. That's okay. good. Yeah, it looks like I think all that can go. You want to save that? Well, no, I didn't say anything. I haven't looked in this box yet. Okay. I don't know what this is. Is there anything in here? I'm just, um, I want to point out that we are really getting to crunch time now, okay? So, um, do you think that you're in a frame of mind to focus on the big picture? The really big picture, which is in the next two hours, we have to get this packed. And I want to know what are you going to do for plan B if it doesn't get done today? What I'd like to do is get the brown roll top. Oh, get to it. Could we get to the brown roll top desk in the computer room and get yeah, that. We have us for another hour and 15 minutes. So you just show us what you want removed and we're going to do it right now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The only thing we're coming in here for is this roll top desk. Nothing on it that okay. stays in the room. Okay. Uh, Can we open that door all the way? Door knob. Smell. Pull the desk apart. Pull that top leg off. I don't want to break it. It's okay. You're gonna. It's okay to break it. There. Right. Great. 
straight into the truck, guys. All right, good job. We've got a few more things inside. Towards the end of today, Jeff and Carly were finally letting us throw things away. Probably more so Jeff. Um, he was even um, kind of sneaking some stuff, um, trying to hurry up and put it in the truck before his wife would see it. Now, um, there's a mattress and charities room. We want to sure. take that yep. to the rubbish truck. So. What's yeah. that? Hmm? What's what? That. That? Yeah. That's the, uh, what do you call those? Roll top desk. Roll top desk from the computer room. I wanted it to go in there or in the garage. Uh, it's been kind of torn up. I thought you wanted it thrown away. No, I didn't. It's beat, it's, it's, beat it's broken. Carly, remember we had that conversation at the top of the stairs about that desk specifically? What about We went in there with Jeff, with the crew, and removed that desk upon you asking us to do that. Remember that? Right, that we, or Maria? We had that conversation yeah. at the top of the stairs. That's the desk that you asked us to do. Yeah, I wanted to get it out. Of, I wanted to get it out to put it in here. Okay. Not to well, put it in the garbage. I told him to put it in there because well, I thought you <laughs> wanted it as garbage. Yeah, because you don't listen. <laughs> uh, okay, well, whatever. They really wanted to be helped, but I think they had a hard time accepting our help because they continued to want to hoard what they had. And the problem was, is there was so much to go through to get to what actually did matter. Carol Lee, she didn't want to let go. a fan of hoarders and subscribe to AE for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.